One second. All right, you said tenant windows, right? That's the reason why you uh, stopped my vehicle? Tenant windows. Order. All right, I'll have a temp permit from the state of PennDOT. That's what I'm going to show you first. That invalidates your traffic stop, sir. All right, what's your second reason? Your headlights, sir. My headlights, what? What's wrong with my headlights? Your headlight is out. Oh, no, it's not. Both my headlights are on. Still see how well, no, you can't. You'll see the temp permit and you'll see my identification, but you won't see the vehicle registration because your traffic stop is invalidated. I'm my, no, no, once I see your paperwork, <sighs> you don't tell me whether my stop is well, invalid or not. Well, I'm telling you right now, Officer Holloway. Oh, huh? okay. All right, here's the uh, sir, you don't have the right to open my door. This car has video monitor, just so your, you know. Your, your video okay, on. you don't have the right to open my door, so you're violating my constitutional right now. Still out of here. Sir, I don't have to step out the vehicle. I'll see your uh, video monitor. For my safety and your safety, I'm gonna sit in this vehicle and I'm requesting your supervisor now. You're gonna request a supervisor. All right, let me give you my paperwork for the vehicle. Well, my temp permit and my identification. That's number one. State of Pennsylvania temp permit. I don't wanna get it wet, you can read it. All right, it says I can present it to law enforcement. That's number one. All right, the vehicle registration, I will not be sure. You can't put that out in the rain. If you wanna hold it right here, you can hold I'm it right here. I'm not stepping into your car for miles. You don't have to, but I'm gonna stand I right here. Read it. Well, sir, I'm not passing it to you outside this vehicle. It's raining outside. I don't want my paperwork. It's not a problem. Well, then what I'll do is I can call for your supervisor. That, that's totally fine. It's not a problem. Sounds good. All right, time is 7.25 p.m. Officer uh, is trying to pull me out of my vehicle, Holloway. All right, invalidated his traffic stop. Says he's stopping me for tenant windows in which this is a temp permit from the state of Pennsylvania. That's all I all right. it's nothing. Temp permit from the state of Pennsylvania. Huh? It's number one. Can I reach for my uh, license, sir? Yes, he's uh, refusing to give me can a paperwork. Can I reach for my license? license? You can reach for your license. Thank you. Sir. All right. Here is my driver's license. This is number one. All right. Fire marshal identification. That's number two. And badge to go with it. All right. And I'm requesting a supervisor. Can you call for your supervisor, sir? Yes, I do, sir. Thank I'm you. To do my job. Can Thank you shut you. my door, please? Oh, yeah, that's accurate, too. That's who I work for, just so you know. We're going to stop all this nonsense with you guys down here just stopping people and doing whatever you want. So that's, that's done. The days are over. I'm glad you think you changed the world. No, sir, Ashley, let me explain something to you. I'm not changing the world, okay? I'm professional, and we're going to change it one person at a time. I'm going to roll my back window up because you're getting inside of my vehicle wet, and I have speakers. You're damaging my speaker, speakers by the rain. No, he's, he's refusing to come out of the vehicle. So can you, can you please... What's that? Could you please... No, it's, yeah, um, yeah, where's your um, driver's license? My driver's license? Yes. No problem. There you go. Could you shut my door, please? All right, in a second, I'm trying to see if you're. All right, I'm requesting so he can shut my door. My door is, is I got speakers, aftermarket speakers on my door, in which uh, they're being damaged. He has my door wide open, so you see. So when I file a complaint, you know my speakers being damaged. You guys will be able to see it. So what are you looking for? I'm trying to see if your high beams was on. Cause I know when you made that turn, that your uh, your one light was up. All right, shut my door at 728. I'm gonna roll that back window up, okay? Turn your high beam on now. You said my high beams? Your high beams. Okay. Call it. All right, not a problem. Second suggestion is that my vehicle headlights, uh, one of my headlights was off. Sound like similar to the Brandon Tate Brown issue, you know, but uh, both my headlights are functioning properly. Requested a supervisor at 728 and uh, refused to give him the paperwork to the vehicle because the state of Pennsylvania, for the reason why he's stopping me, uh, invalidates his traffic stop uh, for for stopping a vehicle just for the sole purposes of uh, sunscreening, in which pen dot, I, have I have a pen dot exemption. Thank you. I have for that today. You can stop it for the sole purpose of uh, vehicle 
vehicle tip. 45, 24. Oh, you can stop a one side percent paperwork to you involved well, in the traffic stop. The there. Well, well I showed it to you. You refused to look yeah. at it. You didn't give me the. I wasn't stepping okay. into your vehicle. You don't have to step in. I can hold it right here and you can flash can, your flashlight. I'll you do can't it again. Tell me what I can see, sir. I can tell you whatever I want because you're a public servant and you work for me. I pay my taxes. You pay. I pay. Look, I pay my taxes. You work for me. I don't work for you. You work for me. Well, tonight you work for me, Officer Holloway. All right. That's why you're standing there waiting for your supervisor and I'm sitting here. And I'm perfect. All right. It's not a problem. And I'm, I'll be down here all day and every other day after that and every time you stop me. Absolutely fine. Here we go. Sunscreen permit again. Just so you can see. Well, I haven't seen it. You can show all right. whatever camera here you go. Here's the seal from State of Pennsylvania right here. Do me a favor. Uh, well, you snatch it out in the window so I can get wet. Okay. So. All right. Thank you very much. I got it soaking wet now, so you guys can see out in the rain. All right. But that's okay. We'll leave that here to dry. Let's go back to the basis of this traffic stop, okay? I'm currently located on Van Dyke and North Street. This will be the 6700 block of Torzell Avenue. Name is Tony Soto for the record, okay? Pulled over by 15th District Officer Holloway, as you can see from the tape. First, he says that one of my headlights is out. And after, you know, we're done with this issue here, I'm gonna step out and show you guys that none of my headlights were out, right? And then the second thing is, all right, he says that he's pulling me over for the tent. He told me to take my pick in which I showed him a uh, sunscreening permit from the state of PennDOT, uh, giving me a vehicle exemption for sunscreening uh, on my windows in which he before, as you've seen, tried to pull me out of my vehicle and make me step out of my vehicle and I have a constitutional right not to step out of my vehicle. All right, and for his safety and my safety, this is being recorded and I requested a supervisor for the record. You, have one of, you, you don't have a firearm in the vehicle, do you? I have no firearms and no weapons. He asked me that I have a firearm in the vehicle. I told him no, and there is no firearm in the vehicle. And I do not give them consent to search the vehicle, and they should know that.
make sure we got enough light. Okay, so he just pulled from behind me and pulled across the street. He took his vehicle across the street. All right, just so you guys can see this. He's across the street and he just pulled from behind me on a traffic stop. So what officer doing a traffic stop pulls across the street and opens the back of their vehicle up, all right, after I requested a supervisor. And this guy pulls across the street. But what is going on? Yeah, we're gonna file a uh, complaint against these officers. So I'm not having it. This is unacceptable. I'm gonna set my phone back down before I get shot and they say that I'm reaching for something. I just find it really awkward that he pulled from behind me and is sitting across the street. He knew he was wrong. That's what it is, okay? So I guess we're no longer engaged in a traffic stop anymore. <clears throat> know your rights, people. Know your rights. for two seconds so I can make a phone call and let someone know where my location is at. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to stop this video. I'm going to keep it going. All right, so we're still on Van Dyke and um and Noor on this alleged traffic stop, and these cops done pulled from behind me and pulled all the way over to the other side. They didn't even come back up to the car and say anything when I requested a supervisor, and then pulled across the street over there and they're just sitting there. You know, so I guess they're waiting for me to pull off to say that I pulled off or something. But a minute ago, you know, this was a traffic stop and a traffic violation. And um, all of a sudden now, um, what's going on? What happened to the traffic stop? That's because they keep doing illegal stuff, pulling people over for no reason whatsoever. And people that don't know the law, you will not stop my car thinking that I do not know the law and do not know my rights as a citizen and get away with it. It won't happen. And he says, what do, what do I think, Officer Holloway? Am I changing the world? Uh, yeah, let me take my glasses off for this one. I'm changing it one person at a time because this nonsense is going to stop. It ends now. No supervisor yet. 743. And they're just sitting across the street. So we're still waiting on the supervisor. What's, what's awkward and striking me real awkward is that no other backup is pulled up. It's just this officer and his partner who, of whom I did not see and 
tried to pull me out the car, like, <laughs> and then I've requested supervisor and no one's here yet. And they're still sitting across the street after they done pulled from behind me. So you guys can see. It's ridiculous. Time is 7.44. All right, they're pulling off. I want y'all to see this. They haven't even came back up to my car. They are pulling off. They are taking off. They, they are pulling off and the supervisor did not show up and they turned the corner and they're pulling off. They pulled off. Let me get out my car so everyone can see this, okay? Number one, water damage to my door, okay? Let me turn the camera around so y'all can see this where I'm at. I am on Van Dyke and North. Van Dyke Street and North Street, all right? 2001 Mercury Grand Marquise, all right? Let me let me, let me me put my tag on this tape just for, just for purposes of that. JNN5066. All right, this is my vehicle, 22 inch rims. All right, one of my headlights were supposedly out, right? I want to curse so bad, but I'm a man of God, I can't. What does that look like to you? Do you see a headlight out on my car? Is there any headlight out on my car? None whatsoever, none. Let me turn my other beams on real quick. And this is after the police pulled me over, no supervisor showed up and they pulled off, all right? Now you mean to tell me that when they stopped Brandon Tate Brown, okay, that that was a justified shooting, and the same thing almost happened with me just now. Take a look at my headlights. One, two. Both of them are on. Let's go back up. One, two. Headlights on the car. Both are on. Both are on. All right, we're going to district now because I just got stopped and I'm going to call 911 and make 911 to make a report, okay? Van Dyke and Noor. This is where my vehicle was at. All right, so everyone can see. That's a problem and all this is getting posted online. This is a problem.